Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon, good night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. I want to talk to you guys about GMO fruits and vegetables. Now, they're everywhere, and I mean when I say everywhere, that includes Whole Foods, and that includes Trader Joe's. So if you guys think because you're choosing these natural, alternative grocery stores that there, there's none of this going on. That's not true. I'm here to tell you guys that the GMO food is everywhere. The way you can test if the GMO food is GMO is by the number. Here, I don't know if you can see it, which you probably can't. Yeah, you can't see it. But the number here is pound 4062. Anytime you have a number that starts with four, it's a GMO. I know that sounds crazy. So when you go to the grocery store, check out the numbers of your groceries, like your fresh produce. Check the numbers. If it's not in the organic place, then it's very highly likely to be GMO. I'm about 95% sure. So now I'm going to get into the story about this cucumber. This cucumber here. I purchased this cucumber over two months ago. I did not put it in the fridge. I put it on the counter in my basket of produce that I keep on the counter. It started to get little yellow spots. And most of the time my cucumbers would start to deteriorate like quickly. This thing is solid and it looks like it's still edible. When I tell you that it started off with a couple yellow specks and then the whole cucumber slowly started to turn yellow. This was a green cucumber when I first purchased it. So now, after two months of sitting on my counter, I'm wondering what have they done to this food that it's so unnaturally aging that instead of it actually rotting, it bleached itself. And it wasn't in direct sunlight for anybody who's gonna ask that stupid question. Let's see, let's see what happens we cut this cucumber over open let's see if it's ready let's see if it's still good and I would say let's taste it but at this point I don't want this in my body so let's see okay so I'm cutting this and it's still crisp and it looks like a regular old cucumber to me it doesn't look like it's two months old at all are you serious how is this possible Wait, but look at the inside. There are no seeds. You guys, this is freaking scary. There's no seeds in this cucumber and it lasted two months. What are they doing to our food, you guys? There's literally no seeds in here. This is scary. Okay. It's important that your food is living. Once you've cut it off, it is now in a phase of dying. So, cucumber, cucumber is a very vital part of my diet. I love it. My kids eat it. We all eat it. But this is ridiculous. The fact that it has no seeds is a problem for me. All right, so I'm here at Sprouts. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in this organic cucumber that I'm about to purchase, even though I can tell it has wax on it too. It needs to be washed off. But compared to this one, which is a normal cucumber, the number here is... 4062, which means that this is a GMO cucumber. All these are GMO. This is 46 something something. It's GMO. Even these look like it. Look at the color. Look at the color of this, you guys. This is crazy. But yes. So this one, the number starts off with a 9. 9460. So the difference between this one is wow, that's the exact same number. It just has 9 in front of it. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. Well, anyway, 